Why am I stick? What am I? What am I doing? Why am I sticking a hoodie on? I'm in freaking Florida. What am I doing? Hey yo, what is going on, everybody? That camera angle, it's a little, a little twisty. Okay. It's time for some Florida action, huh? Spooks? Oh, that's what it looks like. Spooks okay. and frogs. Spooks and frogs, yeah. Can I do a frog? Alright. You guys ready? You guys gotta see this mask I got on. What the heck is this? You know what I'm actually gonna show you guys? Look at this. What, what did I find? I found my ninja mask. It's getting pretty kind of hot. Hold on, I gotta back the truck up. This is getting kind of hot. Thank you. Okay. Da 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 da. I'm just gonna. Oh, that reel sounds cool. Oh, that's what you want, right? That's how. That's how. It, yeah. There we go. Look at that. That's glorious. That's. How we doing over here? This is this hey. is one of Scott's secret hiding places. So so secret that he's never been here. Looks good though. It's clean water. Look at the bass. They just keep darting off in there. Look, that is a freaking giant oh, rock. No, that is a giant no, rock. I don't think we can make it, dude. This is, this is another shallow. There's thing. this rock. Look at that rock right there. Dude, that's like yeah. six inches. No, we can't make it. No. Okay. I'm going to throw it out there. I think the boat is going to hit these rocks right here. We're literally on top of rock right here. You want me to get in with you? I'll at least do this. Push it at this way. Okay. I'll push it through. Oh, there you go. We should be good. Oh wow! Now I'm in a now I'm in a real predicament. Oh, I'm in a. Oh, we're good. I wish I could help, but with my foot. Let me down. <laughs> I think you're. You How wanna, convenient. We're good. When the time comes. All right. So this secret spot is. Uh, it's gonna stay secret. It's gonna stay. It's, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be known. We're gonna just move spots. Oh, wake. Oh. That's, a good one. That's a good fish. That's good. There we go. He's barely hooked on that back hook. Came after it. Yeah, I saw that wake. Look at that mouth. Dude, look at that. Oh, he's going to jump. Okay, now he's hooked. He just hooked himself worse. Oh, you got a mouthful, don't you, girl? Man, that's a, that's a seven, bro. That's a 12. You know what's good about that one? I was bill dancing it up in the back, you know, just chilling on this nice, comfy chair. About to swing him, Brandon, right for you. Bro, what is that? Well, this is... Donkus, Donkosaurus. It's a little mini donkey. Yeah, a little thin, huh? A little bit of a post-spawn action. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, they've been spawning in here since like November. <laughs> <laughs> they haven't even started in Texas, and we're going to think post-spawn fish like crazy. All right. Four? Yeah, you want to give four. one? Looks like a seven in the water, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. All right, first one, four-pounder. Nice, man. That was a four-pound splash. Four pound splash. I'll yeah. go ahead and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna go ahead and just kinda take a good seat here. I'm gonna say something. Spooks and braid do not go together like peanut butter and jelly. Uh -huh. It's more like oil and water. Yeah. Oh, look at the maneuver. Oh, that one come up and miss it. Oh, he's got an out. Ooh. Another one. Another, it's an eight. It's an That's eight. a 12. Six, oh my, world record. Dude, I'll camp right there. <sighs> this guy's really on the, uh, he's not on the gender gray program. I, I hooked myself. What was that? Flied fish? Dude, he jumped. He that, had like momentum. <laughs> I thought he was big. He just came from down deep. That's why you had to play him easy down here. God. He went like 38 feet in the air. Oh, that's. I'm about to get smoked. The bass really love when. Oh my! What we called it? He hit it, dude. That he, was awesome. He's on. He's on. on him. Got him. That was awesome. Oh. Wasn't expecting that. I was gonna make a joke. Hey, I got a bunch of grass on my bait, dude. Oh, that is. That's where the fish are. There we go. Let's see if I can get it right there. Oh, that's how you catch a lily pad, boys. Oh, oh that, was <laughs> that was awesome. I didn't think I was gonna make that spook go through there like that. Bro, that's a tank too. Hut. Oh, a little bit of a oh, little bit of Cardi B finesse action. Brandon, how do you like that mess? That's a tangle if I've ever seen one. 
There you go, little dude. So I'll be back with you guys here in about 40 minutes. That's uh, okay. This is why there's a seat back here. Hey, I'm gonna continue to throw this sucker as long as it catches fish, even if I have to untangle it every time. Oh, wow. Didn't have to do anything for this fish. Look at him. Come on. On fire, man. Dude, all right, you ready for this, Brandon? You ready to catch it? Hit the water instantly. I was actually just kind of reeling in my slack, kind of taking my time back here. What do you think, Brandon? There you go. Turn around. Hey, hey, guess what? Every time. So I know that this bait's catching all the fish, but I think I want to change it up some. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna throw a swim jig or something. Sound fun? That sounds a little, you wanna throw this? I don't you... know the swim jig. Change it up, I gotta change it up some. I can't just throw a spook all day. Maybe a frog, yeah, maybe a frog fish. Let's get some frog fish. All right, probably gotta tighten the drag down just a little bit more on this. Oh, got him. Oh, I got a giant frog fish. I'm talking this thing. First frog fish. She's a zinger. Let me tell you what, ladies and gentlemen. This might be my first frog fish of 2018, actually. Matter of fact, it is. And it's a freaking tank. Good way to start off the year. So, Brandon, you got any Coors Light? I gotta tell you something. I'm serious about it. So essentially what you guys have missed has been me munching down on these scrumdily umptious looking uh, chicken tenders and I also spilled mustard all over myself. I used possibly maybe uh, 70 to 80 mustard packets. There's probably nobody on planet earth that eats mustard more than I do. I put that stuff on my pancakes, on my PB&Js. I just douse everything in mustard. Uh, but I'll give you guys the time check. It is 124. We're going to be out of here for another couple hours. Right, I'm going to smash one. I'm going to crush a hammer. You're going to do it. Home run. I'm going to crush my three cuts. Hey Scott. You remember that one time where me and Brandon took your boat out? Yeah. And uh, his spiked away pretty good. <laughs> and your that, that footage is still pretty impressive. <laughs> I don't think anybody understands. I caught my bag in mid in mid air and caught it as it flew by me. And his but his camera did go to the bottom of the Chickamauga. Sitting at the bottom of it right now, it's pretty good, right? It is, yeah. It's a good footage. <laughs> It's still recording. It's still recording. I lost the camera and my prop. I had a full size prop. Oh, God. I don't want to hear about this. I don't want to hear about this. No, don't want to hear about that. That's your prop. I will say, I did, I did get kind of close to a little bit of dirt, but I didn't do the prop. I think it was in the dirt the whole time. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's Brandon, you know, he just should have had the camera strapped down on the front of the boat, is all. Oh, he didn't believe us. When we came back, he's like, well, he's not going to believe us. He's not going to believe us. I had to give you my freaking camera. I felt so bad. <laughs> but actually, that was good because you got us off that Panasonic track. Yeah, the Panasonics aren't the way to go. Oh, big one. Get him out. That's, oh, my. Wow. Oh my! Holy dude! I was hanging on the reed head. That reed back there just dangling in the water. He came up out for it. Jeez, that just got my heart racing. That was a good fish, dude. It was, dude, it was dangling out of the water like this above the water, and he came out for it. Ah, oh. I am getting thumped by the. That was a big one. That was a lot. That's why it felt big. It's a freaking mud dog. Mud cat. Mud cat. Mud fish. Mud fish. Mud cat. I was gonna ask him, do you want him on the deck of your boat? <laughs> huh? No, I'm just gonna use pliers. They're real nasty fish. They thump like crazy though. There we go. You got him? There he goes. Alright. Well, if I was a gamble man, I'd say that hook has a uh Let's go ahead and just kind of do that to it. It may have been a sunfish, never mind. A sunfish <laughs> is way different than that. <laughs> way bigger than that. Okay, then it definitely wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't a sunfish. A sunfish is like the size of my hand. Oh, is it? Yeah, <laughs> it wasn't a sunfish. That was your woohoo moment. <laughs> woohoo! It's caught a striper! Do you have that clip? Can I get that clip so I can show them the clip? Can I show them the clip of you?
<laughs> Let me get that clip. You got the clip? Can you send it to me? You guys are about to witness a, probably one of the funniest moments of Brandon's life, and I'm gonna roll it now. Got a bass, my first ever striper. Suck it, Billy! One hour challenge, I win. The best part of the day, other than catching that four or whatnot, was, uh, you know, today I was kind of in a more relaxed, chilling. Tomorrow, tomorrow's video, we're gonna be going like really, really hard. Hector's actually not gonna be here tomorrow, it's gonna be me and Scott and Brandon, but we're gonna be going after a little bit more of a punching douche bite. But you know what the best part of today was? Suck it, Billy! You're never gonna live that down. You're never gonna live that down. There he goes. So you know what's good about today? I was telling you guys, like, the first time I came, I told you guys that yesterday, so when the first time I met Scott Martin was with Hector back before he, I think he's got gout. He won't admit it, no, but I think not, he's, he's got gout. It's not, a, it's not a joint. I think he's got gout. But the first time I actually met Scott was back when I was doing Call of Duty tournaments and Hector, of course, was there and we were down in Orlando. And, I mean, that was a long time ago. It feels like six, I don't know. 2013. However long ago that was. I was still in the army, we'll just say that. And pretty much that's how I met Scott, was through him. Me and him just took a trip with Scott. Literally just went fishing with Scott. And then now we're all pretty damn good friends, I would say. Ah, so tomorrow my buddy Hector Rodriguez, who is now snuggled up in his bed, just all... My foot hurts. His, his foot is done, all wrapped up nice and snug. I mean, just... You look like a warm tamale. A what? Huh? A warm Oh, I just that I'm not sweating. Oh, wrapped up like a tamale. He's really, oh, I just dropped my camera like really hard. Oh, you guys just took a spill. So Hector's wrapped up like a warm tamale. Tomorrow we'll be going out fishing, punching some mats. He's heading back to Texas. Hopefully the air pressure and the what do we want to call it? Was it air pressure? Air pressure didn't sound right. I don't know. Pressure in pressure cabin pressure. pressure. Cabin, cabin pressure inside the airplane does not make his foot swell up like it did here and uh, hopefully he's able to walk. Go follow Hector. I'll link him down below. He's the reason why I'm doing this and showing you guys these videos as of currently. He literally made me start YouTube. What's about to happen? Click that video right there. If you see the money button, click the one right below it and already, hey, if you haven't subscribed, do it right there. Do it to 11 PCs. I love every single morning. Thanks for hanging out. And I'm about to disappear right away.